How do you feel when a celebrity uses the Academy Awards as a platform for their own causes? Do you see it as brave or inappropriate, impactful or futile? Well, you might think of Michael Moore. Remember when he railed against George W. Bush for invading Iraq? Or you might think of Richard Gere for calling attention to human rights abuse in Tibet. Well, here are a few more examples that really struck a chord or a nerve, depending on whom you ask. Back in 1973, to a mix of cheers and boos, Marlon Brando made a strong statement by not showing up to receive his award for The Godfather. Instead, he sent a Native American activist who read his speech protesting the U.S. Marshal's siege on Wounded Knee. He very regretfully cannot accept this very generous award. And the reasons for this being are the treatment of American Indians today by the film industry, excuse me, Also voicing displeasure with the U.S. government, Tim Robbins and Susan Sarandon, back in 1993. Here she is after calling out the U.S. for running an internment camp in Cuba for Haitians with HIV and AIDS. On their behalf and all the people living with HIV in this country, we'd like to ask our governing officials in Washington to admit that HIV is not a crime and to admit these people into the United States. Thank you. And here's another woman who got vocal on Oscar night just a couple of years ago, Patricia Arquette. To every woman who gave birth, to every taxpayer and citizen of this nation, we have fought for everybody else's equal rights. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all and equal rights for women in the United States of America. No matter how you feel about actors giving political statements during the Oscars, one thing's for certain tonight. In this particular political climate, we are sure to hear more of them. Yelena Adzik, CBC News, Toronto.